Is it playing? Oh, I think it is. Hello everyone, my name is Dana Yao and I'm a third year architecture student studying at the University of Nottingham. And today we're going to be talking about alternative nights out and different activities you can do in and around Nottingham. So first thing I want to mention, I'm going to be talking about some of the activities that I personally know about, but there's loads of different kinds of activities in and around the city for all different kinds of interests. So one of the things that I love to do is to go out for food. I like to go to different restaurants, try out different cuisine, and there's loads of different places in Nottingham to do that. There's Cosmo, which is a continental buffet, Las Iguanas, Nando's, of course, Taco Bell, Pudding Pantry, Heavenly Desserts, bars like Slug and Lettuce, Revolution, plenty of student-friendly pubs and Wetherspoons all around. There's a Kitty Cafe, which I personally haven't been to, but it's a cafe, but with kittens. Who doesn't love that? And he's Burger Shack. How could I forget? If you come to Nottingham, make sure you go there. They do all kinds of different food options. They have vegan alternatives to every single one of their burgers, so I highly recommend. I recommend checking out the Nottingham Street Food Court, and they have loads of different options, from Korean to American style fries, to waffles and other desserts and they're independently run so they're like little pop-up stores and it's just really cool to go there and see the different options that they have each week so yeah there's just a few of the ones that i've been to but there are many many more if you're a film lover we have loads of different cinemas and theaters around there's cineworld showcase savoy which is a student-friendly cinema that has really cheap tickets for all of the students and it's located in Linton so if you're living around Linton in second and third year it's just down the street. There's IMAX and Broadway cinema as well. If you're interested in doing something a bit more physical that will get your adrenaline going then there's Planet Bounce. You can go bowling, there's Nottingham Laser Tag Arena, you can go ice skating at Motor Point Arena. If you want to go paintballing I can recommend Delta Force which I've been to. It's just outside of Nottingham around Derby but there's also Go Ballistic and Nationwide, which are a little bit closer to Nottingham. Escape rooms is another thing that I didn't know about until I came to Nottingham. And these are like really kind of, they're like puzzle simulations. So you're put into a room and you have a limited amount of time to try and escape from the rooms. And it kind of just gets you thinking and gets your brain going. And sometimes you have to do something physical or sometimes it's more of like a brain teaser. They have different themes as well. So it could be a toy shop, an abandoned science lab, a butcher's. If you're looking for something a bit more chilled out, then you can go indoor golfing in the city centre. If you're really into drama, then I'd also recommend checking out the Theatre Royale. They have different kinds of concerts and production that they put on, and it's a really nice experience if you're interested in that. If you're into your music, then luckily for you, Nottingham is home to Motor Point Arena, which attracts all different kinds of artists and musicians to Nottingham. There's also Rock City, which I was supposed to see. It was kept out of yet before. Miss Rona happened. And of course, there's still the typical tourist activities that you can take part in. You can visit the castle, go and see the caves, visit Woolerton Park, Sherwood Forest, the Attenborough Reserve. And one of the really cool things about Nottingham as a city is that they put on different activities in Market Square, depending on what time of the year that we're in. So at Christmas, there's Winter Wonderland, there's a food market around springtime. During the summer, they create a beach and put on different kind of like fun fair activities and stuff like that. So it's almost like you're in a seaside town. In terms of costs, I'm quite cheap as a person. So I wouldn't be going to any of these places if they were too expensive. So the majority of them are affordable within reason, as long as you're regulating yourself. Just make sure that you're checking your bank balance before you go out and go to a bar and a restaurant and go to the theatres. <laughs> but generally it's quite affordable and student friendly. So I hope that gives you a brief breakdown of some of the different activities that we have in Nottingham. Of course, there are many, many more, some I don't even know about that you might come across during your experience at university. So make sure you make the most of your time and experience as many of these and make as many memories as possible.